giant slayer who's walked into the valleys of our lives. He has the power to take down the enemy who's trying to take down you and me. And on the cross and by his resurrection, he defeated every foe we're ever going to face in our lives. I do not have to rise up and take down anxiety and depression. Jesus rises up and takes down anxiety and depression. Jesus is the giant slayer in my life. And so we can't do what he wants us to do. We can't act like he wants us to act unless we're becoming more like him, unless who we are inside is changing. We fight for purity when we fight from purity. It doesn't start at practice. It doesn't start when you get the offer to cheat. It starts when no one is looking and you say, I will renew my mind and I will run to my creator. And I want you to remember that authentic resolve is not just verbal. It must be what? Visible. Because if you don't live it, what? You don't believe it. You see, for most Christian teenagers, Jesus is their most embarrassing friend. Jesus is the one they won't introduce to others. Jesus is the one they won't speak of. Jesus' is gospel they won't share. For the average Christian teenager, their most embarrassing friend is Jesus. The pain and the betrayal and the drama and the dysfunction and the abuse and the abandonment in your story has no power to determine what God will do in you and what God will do through you in the event that you lean into this powerful word, resolve. Just your voice.